Hi everyone, my name is Dean Dykstra and uh, this is my YouTube channel and a lot of times you'll find trains on here. My kids love trains, but today something a little different. We're going to read Inside a Freight Train by Ellen Johnson McHenry. Let me open this up and there you can see the train and some of the, the cars it's pulling. Let's turn the page and find out what's going on. Have you ever seen a long freight train going by? My guess is you have, especially if you've looked at some of these videos. What is inside all those cars? Freight trains carry all kinds of products. The locomotive, this is the locomotive, that pulls the train has diesel engines. The train engineer sits in the cab where the control panel is. Lift the flaps and take a look. So here, back here, you can see there's the diesel engine that powers the locomotive. Up here is where the engineer sits. Can you see him sitting there? Yes, he's the one that's in control of that big, powerful train. And if you look carefully, you can also see people watching the train go by. And that's something that my sons and I like to do. All right, let's move. Over here, you can see a boxcar. What is inside a boxcar? Usually, lots and lots of smaller boxes. Maybe that's why they call it a boxcar. Inside those boxes might be cans of food, machine parts, televisions, papers, or even toys. Boxcars have sliding doors on both sides. So there's one on this side and one on the other. Forklifts are used to load the boxes. Hmm. What do you think the forklift is taking and loading today? Ta-da! I don't know if you can see that. Those are boxes of bikes. Boxes of bikes. It's kind of fun, right? Let me close that up. Turn the page. There's another type of car. Hmm. A refrigerator car is a special kind of box car for carrying fresh fruits and vegetables. Lift the small flap to find what the refrigerator is carrying today and to find the refrigeration unit that's at the back of the train. Hmm. So you have a refrigerator in your house probably. This is a train car that has a refrigerator at the back. And there you can sort of see the, the refrigerator unit that keeps things cold and fresh. And in the front, something that my boys love to drink, and maybe you do too, apple juice, lots of apple juice. All right, let's move to the next page. This is a gondola. This freight car is called the gondola. Gondola cars have no roof. You can see there's nothing on top, and maybe you've seen those before. And sometimes they carry coal. They are used to carry things like sand, coal, and rocks that cannot be damaged by the rain or snow, so they don't need a roof. The gondola is carrying rocks called gypsum. Gypsum is something that they use to make um, pl plasterboard for houses. And so maybe you have that in your house as well. Your walls might be made of plasterboard. So here's the gypsum that's being carried. And sometimes you'll see coal carried in those as well. Turn the page. And I'm sure you've seen this before. This is a special tank car. Tank cars carry liquids. Tank cars um, with very clean insides are used for molasses or vegetable oil or corn syrup or even liquid chocolate. How yummy is that? This tank car was made for hot tar. Hmm, can you see the pipes inside there? There's the pipes, and the pipes keep it from getting too cool, because if it would get cool, what happens when chocolate 
or tar gets cool. It gets all sticky and it wouldn't be able to come out. So that's important. They keep it hot. So when you see those cars go by, you can know that those are being heated to keep things from becoming solid. All right, here's another one. Maybe you know what this one's called. This is called a hopper. You can see at the bottom, you can drop different things out of that. Covered hoppers are like big funnels with wheels. A hopper carries grains like wheat or corn. The hopper is filled through the opening on the top. So if you fill it up here, it's emptied through sliding hatches at the bottom while parked on the tracks over a storage pit. This hopper has corn to make breakfast cereal. And you can see there's the corn. And maybe you've seen these hopper cars come by as well. And so they have lots of grains there, bringing them from the farms to the factories where they can make cereal. And maybe you have a favorite cereal like corn flakes or frosted flakes. All right, yet another type of car. This one's called a covered auto rack. Those are freight cars uh, that carry cars and trucks. And here in Michigan, we see these quite often. They move them from the factories where they are made to places where they are sold. Don't worry, the cars won't roll off. They are tightly flat fastened to the floor. Then the doors are locked with strong bolts. And look at that. Not just one layer, not two layers, but three layers of cars on that auto rack. And maybe you've seen those come by before as well. This freight train is pulling flat cars. What are flat cars? They're loaded with big work machines like backhoes and bulldozers. Lift the flap to see inside the tunnel. That flat car is carrying an excavator. You see the excavator way over here in the tunnel. You can see there's the excavator along with other equipment. The machine were measured before they were put on the flat cars to make sure that they would not be too tall to go off through the tunnel. You gotta make sure that they fit through the tunnel. A flat car, called a piggyback car, is used. Can you see the uh, trailer that uh, is holding those, those truck trailers? So you have a train that's pulling other trucks. What do you suppose is in there? Can't really tell, but those are rolls of carpet and linoleum. And so you can take a semi-tractor and um, load on the train. It's pretty interesting. And sometimes you may have seen that before, a train carrying uh, the back of trucks. And inside those trucks could be anything. Could be carrying clothes or shoes or even computers. All right. Another kind of flat car is a center beam flat car. It has a long beam down the center that makes it easy to carry lumber. I lift this flap and you can see there's the center beam. It gives strength to that car and it can load lots of wood there. Can you see the plywood there in the stacks? Here comes a forklift with the load of wood to, to finish out filling up that center beam flat car. One more type called a stock car. Freight cars that carry livestock, animals like cows, sheep, and pigs, and chickens are called stock cars. The slats on the side of the stock allow fresh air to flow through the train. Before the cows were lo loaded on this stock car, it was cleaned with germ-killing spray. Make it nice and clean for the cows. Then it was filled with fresh straw. And there's the cows. You can see. And you know what? On this side, you can see. What animals are those? Those are pigs. So all different type of livestock go on those cars. 
Freight trains travel through the night to get things moving from one place to another. The last freight car has a trail light there at the end. That's so that you can see the end of the train and be safe in the dark. Goodbye, freight train. Goodbye. Thanks for listening, and uh, we hope to have more trains for you in the future.